Hello, we're going to make a video. Uh, this is a video that demonstrates installing Nano VNA software on a Windows 10 computer. VNA refers to a vector network analyzer. Nano VNA software is PC software that allows someone to do vector network analyzing. The software runs on Windows, Mac, and Linux platforms. Vector network analyzers are used to test component specifications and verify design simulations to make sure systems and their components work properly together. Today the term network analyzer is used to describe tools for a variety of networks. Okay, and that last bit was something I copied after a Google search. So the first thing we want to do is open our web browser. And the web browser has opened. And then what we're going to do is we're going to type in a, an address, HTTPS. Uh, in fact, let me put that web address. We'll type that in down here. So it's in nice big letters. HTTPS colon uh, slash slash github dot com slash m i h t j e l slash nano nano v n a dash saver. That saver part uh, you need to kind of remember because I tried to type in server and it didn't work. Okay, so so we're in here and we have HTTPS colon slash slash GITHUB dot com slash MIHTJ E L slash nano V N A dash saver. And I'll hit enter. And it brings you into a, a little GitHub thing here. And uh, so I'm going to scroll down to where it has the Windows install. And here it has the uh, the Windows, so we can download the executable and it runs directly, uh, no installer required. Uh, and so we'll go ahead and click on the Windows install, and we'll come down here. After we do that, it's going to take us into a page that uh, that uh, has the various uh, things you can. Uh, install. So we'll go ahead and we'll click the .exe file. And so I didn't have to log into GitHub to get this. I could just download this straight. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and click on Save. <coughs> and uh, this is downloading to my downloads directory. Uh, so what I'm going to do after this is downloaded is I'm just going to copy this over to my desktop and uh, I expect it to run. It's, it's going to take a few minutes so I'm actually going to um, um, go ahead and pause this video. Okay, the uh, file has downloaded. Uh, I'm on a really slow DSL line, so it took a few minutes to download. Um, so, uh, what we'll do is we will. I'm actually going to put um, this. Um, let me see here. So I'm actually going to put this in the 
background and um, I'm going to come down to the little start flag here and go into file explorer and I'm going to go into downloads now when you download it if you can uh, download it directly onto your desktop rather than the downloads directory uh, you don't have to do this transfer step here. Uh, I had to do this transfer step because my browser uh, was not set up to allow me to choose where to download the file. Okay, so I copied that over to my desktop. Now, I don't even have to install this. All I have to do is double click this. And uh, so it's saying that um, Windows 10 is saying that I don't recognize this program so um, I need to tell it to run anyway so I can't click more info and I'm going to say run anyways It's doing some settings, it's doing some initialization, and there we go. Now it's um, okay, so now it wants to see if there's any updates. So I'm going to go ahead and click yes for updates. I'm going to, going to go ahead and click the little box there to tell it to uh, so that it's not trying to take the whole screen for some reason I'm running on a virtual machine for some reason it was getting kind of wonky so I came up and clicked this little box uh, that says uh, allow it to take the whole screen so now I'm telling it not to take the whole screen and it it's kind of running kind of weird so I'm going to tell it to take the whole screen again there we go and it looks like it's doing fine so anyways um, you can go ahead and uh, if you know how to use the software you just go ahead and put parameters in here um, and uh, I assume that you can plug devices in and use this software from there okay I hope this was helpful and uh, thanks for listening